can having another meeting actually be fun? Getting that notification, meeting in 10 minutes. And then you have the meeting, it's all good, and then it's like, wait, what? Oh crap, I forgot everything. But what did they want in that proposal? Whose birthday? Was it the wife or the mistress? If you're like me, as my wife likes to remind me every day, I have fish brain. No offense, fish. I just have a lot of trouble remembering stuff. And sure, I take notes, I got paper, pencil, kind of boring. And I wanted to try something new, something better. Take advantage of all this AI stuff that we have in the world today, good or bad. But I want to be young, cool, like a kid. And that's when it hit me. The Dot, or more specifically, the Blue Dot. Blue Dot is a note-taking AI app, and it is amazing. That video of the girl that tastes ketchup for the very first time. Taste that thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Daddy know what he's talking about, don't Her mind is blown away. Well, with Blue Dot, I kid you not, mind blown with how much this helps with meetings. I don't have to take notes, and I can focus on the conversation and ask the real important questions. It records everything and provides automatic summaries of everything important in the meeting, and it sends it to me as an email. And because Blue Dot has AI built into it, I can ask any questions, just like I'm messaging. It's almost like having a secretary. What was that about? What did the client say? Who's the target audience? Can you send a proposal really quick? Just craft something? Like all of these things, you can just do right on the spot. Seriously, I would rate this app a 10 out of 10 because I like it so much. Use this tool once and your mind will be blown just like mine was. All right, so let me show you the tool in action. And please let me know if you like videos like this. Here we go. All right, so here is Blue Dot's website and I just want to show the pricing. And if you look there, it's free to try. And you get five meetings up to one hour long. That's enough. And what I did was I just jumped on with a buddy. We just talked about stuff and it was pretty cool. You could already see that it provides you a summary of what we talked about. And if there was actually things that we discussed in terms of what actions we should do, it, it kind of listed it out like I should be doing this and he should be doing that. So it's an awesome tool. And I just want to mention that I'm on the pro plan and the interesting part about if you have some kind of video outside because you'll see here that this is an AI note taker for Google Meet. If you do something outside like record a friend or a conference or something and you want to analyze it, you want to see what this thing can pick up. Well, it's great. You can just upload it and then it will just offer all of its AI tools right there. So really cool thing and so yeah just wanted to mention that all right so just to get started what you need to do is install the free extension and so it works with chrome or that's the browser that i use and so you basically click and then it'll ask you to kind of install it here and just to show you what it looks like is that you'll have this little blue dot up here right here and you have these options of starting a record and you know just picking your camera and stuff and so when you go into a Google Meet, you just click this and then it'll, it'll just record. And it'll give a little notification to someone saying, hey, this is being recorded. The nice thing about this tool versus others that I've seen, other AI note-taking tools, is that it doesn't create like an additional box, like someone, like the, the AI tool itself is another speaker. So it just looks like I'm speaking with someone up. else. So here's yeah, an example of yeah. me and one of my partners, Pretty we're just cool talking. Tool. You don't see yeah. like another window. Yeah or anything going on. So uh, just a scope I'm escape. Okay. All right, so let's go look at the dashboard. All right, so here's the dashboard. And when you log in, you'll see a bunch of these nice videos where this is actually one of the co-founders and he's just telling you how to use it and how you can get involved. And you can also just click inside each of them and you'll just see like it provides you the transcript of what, what he's saying, so everything. So it's great. You have transcripts already made. It has these insights and AI chat, you can basically ask anything. So if I wanted to ask something like, what was this about this? You know, it just spits out something. All right, so that's cool. What I wanted to do is jump into one of my meetings that I've had with someone. And so I'll try to do it where I'm hiding any uh, information. So you might see some blurries and stuff, but I think this will be uh, pretty cool for you to just see how you could use it for in a business context in terms of if you're trying to learn anything. So like me, I'm kind of a consultant in the way where I talk with clients, I try to figure out what are their problems, and I try to eventually come up with a solution. So here's an example. I'll go into here where we imagine you've had a meeting with someone. 
what it already tells you is it gives you an overview of what we discussed. It shows the action items of what I'm supposed to be working on. And, and then this is the person that I was speaking with. It just shows like, okay, what, you know, what they need to do on their side. And then we had these various topics uh, that we talked about. So to me, just having this is really cool. And you can see you can also have um, all these other options, like what are the key takeaways? So if I go there, it's just producing something on the spot. So here you'll kind of see it just comes up with it. So what are the key takeaways? Well, I proposed a flexible monthly service, focus on both technical SEO, the topics that we talked about. It's really cool. And this is really helpful stuff. And you can see what it's doing here on the right side is it has the transcript of the entire conversation. So it, and it points out, you know, who was speaking. So that's already, that's, that's really nice. In terms of insights, what I like about this is there's this thing called questions asked. So it identifies how many questions I'm asking so it can understand whether I'm, I'm not, you know, it's not just recognizing that I'm talking, but it knows if I'm asking a question or not. And so this is great because one of the things I aim for is I want to try to ask more questions than the client that I'm working with or the prospect just because I want to learn more about their business. And I think it's very powerful when you can ask more questions just to really understand the situation. So this is great that it's already there, that, you know, that it's highlighting this. Where things get really interesting is this AI chat. And so it just says, hey, do you have any questions about this recording? So I could ask you know, like a question like, oh, can you tell me the key takeaways? And it will spit out something, but this is already automated. But I could say something like, you know, based on the conversation, create a quick proposal that I can send prospect via. And so what it's doing is it's taking the actual recording of our conversation, and then it's putting together a proposal. So J dear Jonas, Here's the scope of work, the timeline, and then it's just, you know, it's basically a nice template. And what I find super powerful about this is proposals take me quite a long time, like, you know, several hours to put together because not only do you listen to the conversation or you hear what the customer needs, but then you take that and you have to take your notes and then you have to apply it to some kind of proposal template that you might have, or at least that's what I was doing. But in this case, I feel like I'm re I really have the opportunity to just create pro proposals right on the spot. And when you can do something really quick and then just send it off to the client, I think there's something very powerful about that, especially with certain types of clients that like this idea of like, you know, very good, fast communication. You can just send something and if they don't like it, then you can kind of go back and forth really quickly. And so I really like it in this approach that I can do things from getting overviews, sending proposals. I can even ask something like, based on our conversation, can you get an idea of the prospect's target audience? And let's see what it says here. It appears that the prospect's target audience are likely individuals interested in mountain biking excursions or vacations. The prospect mentions that they have a website for the company. Additionally, prospect mentions that they have just what it's just kind of recapping a lot of the stuff that that we talked about and I find this really good because yeah this is stuff that yeah you know you can really you can easily forget these things and these are important details that as you're able to keep on talking with someone it, it just gives sort of the sense that you really understand their situation all right, so I've shown you the dashboard, and the other part that I think is really powerful is the automated email that it sends after you have a meeting. So in this case, this is a meeting that I just had, and it just sends it to my email, and I think it's a great thing to do, where I get an overview, it says the action items, and let's say the current uh, situation, so that's what, with this particular client, we were talking about an existing website. And this is good, what I can do is I can, go back to the dashboard and I can do all this investigation or do stuff myself. I also have the option of sharing it. So I can send this to the client and that they'll get it or I can share it with anyone. So if I have a team and I want them to watch this, they can, you know, I can just click this and then they can have access as well. So it's really cool in the sense that I find that this really empowers myself. 
but I have the opportunity to share it with the client or the person that I'm speaking with because it can be really helpful for them to just review what it is that we talked about. And I can also share it with a team. So it's really powerful in several ways. And so for me, just having this as a tool, I feel like it saved me a ton of time and it makes me feel really confident when I jump into a meeting because I can really focus on the person, what it is that they're talking about. I don't have to worry about taking notes. And I find that this kind of changes sort of the mindset or something. It just, it really feels like it boosts the confidence and I can really just go ahead and ask whatever it is that I need to ask. And yeah, I don't know. It's like I don't have to take the notes at the same time where I feel like that creates sort of a loss of information. It's like I can really be in tune. And, and what I like is that I can just go back and, you know, ask the questions that, you know, I would have tried to look through my notes. I can actually just find it or it's just automated, which is pretty cool. And that's one other thing that I just want to mention here is that they have this automation section, which if you become a power user in the sense that, and you want to organize everything, so I haven't even got there and I don't even know if I will, but they have some great workflows and automations that you can do. So if you wanted, if you're taking a bunch of meetings and you want something where if a person says something related, you know, some kind of keyword, you can make sure that that gets funneled into a special category. And so for myself and the amount of meetings that I do, I, I don't think I need that, but I could totally see that if I'm working with a couple people and I want to see that certain things get funneled in a, let's say in a sales category versus a support category, or, or I don't know what it could be, but I could definitely see how folders and having a folder structure is very helpful and it's, it's built in. And so that's really good to know. All right. And so with that, that's my review of Blue Dot, the AI note taking app specifically for Google Meets. I love it. It's something that I use pretty much daily now. And so whenever I have a meeting, I just turn it on. And I really like this idea of just having someone by my side to be able to help out. Uh, I just want to mention that one of the things that when you're recording someone, I think some people would feel a little bit weird if they're being recorded without knowing. And so one of the things that I do when I'm actually doing a meeting is I just say, hey, um, would you mind if I record? And so that's one of the things that I do. And so far it hasn't been an issue. People are like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, whatever. That's kind of how the flow is. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If it is, let me know with a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, go ahead and shoot them over and I'll try to address them. This is a cool tool and I would definitely check it out because it's a lot of fun and it really boosts, like I would say productivity, like huge. And so it's a really cool thing to try. All right, wish you a wonderful day. Thanks a lot.